Well, hello, YouTube. <sighs> so, I'm recording a video. Taking me a much needed walk just to get some fresh air before I sit in the house and continue doing some schoolwork. Then, after schoolwork, I will be. Well, I ain't really gotta do, I don't think I gotta do too much. But I'm just waiting on the awards to come on tonight. I don't really watch TV like that. If I do decide to watch like a TV show or something, I go on um I go on this website called Broken Silence and I'll watch like Loving Hip Hop and whatever else look interesting. That's pretty much where I watched the Keisha Cole movie. Her little biopic she did for Lifetime. That everybody was pretty much talking about on um, Twitter. To be honest, I thought it was a good movie. I mean, it had... This stuff that I didn't really agree with but hey that's her life and that's the way she chose to tell her story but anyway so I'll be trying to do outgoing videos and stuff like that anyway um I got this little ass iPhone. I should have got an iPhone Plus. This phone little as shit. And then, my eyes ain't the damn best. I be over here squinting and shit, looking like I'm blind as fuck. That's Nerf Philly for you. I hope these cars act like they got some damn sense to the I look old. Like I said, cars don't know how fucking drive to them. Like I said, cars don't know how to drive today. They try to get by like they going somewhere fucking special. And it's very fucking irritating.
basically, yeah, so this is pretty much what I do when I'm bored. And there ain't shit to do. The crazy thing about it is when in the past years, I'll be so bored with being in the house, pretty much being around my damn brothers. But I'll be so bored with being in the house. I will, um, I would, whew, I would, um, spend the night, hard days, hard months, whatever at people house and not just people I mean like family and f friends or whatever cause I hated being in the house it'd be fucking boring and then it's like the TV in the room don't fucking work cause they broke it and ain't nobody say nothing. They just break shit for no reason to fuck at all. Or probably broke their shit and put the broke shit in the room nobody really was sleeping in. I don't know, because I wasn't there. I could only guess the, the shit that they like to do. But I can't say for sure what actually happened. <sighs> Yo, these cars can't drive or shit. Yo, it's hot as shit out here. I ain't even gonna lie. But I don't give a fuck because I still put a hoodie on. Isn't that old motherfucker you wild? You about to pass out hot? But it's hot. Yeah. The Chinese store in close today. What the fuck is today? I mean, I ain't getting nothing from out of there, but. Yeah. Or what time is it? Anyway. I should went here and went to go get a war arms. That's the fuck I should do. I get a whole bunch of damn chips. This is fucking hot as shit out here. It's crazy I'm in my 30s and still would go to the store and get shit like I'm a damn kid. I will. I'll get chips, juices, snacks, shit like that. Now don't get me wrong, I'll fuck around and get like soup and noodles and shit like that if I'm really hungry. But other than that, 
is fucking snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Chips and shit I don't really need to be eating. You know, sit there bullshit in the room when nothing the fuck to do. Talking shit online. With a whole bag of chips in my hand. Fucking it up. And that's probably what the fuck I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't know what store I'm saying on going to, but... That's probably what I'm going to do. So, yeah. It's the afternoon. Kids coming from school, of course. There's one boy walking in front of me. I ain't paying enough to fucking uh, flip the camera. I actually can't because I'm on my phone. But, um... <sighs> Y'all want to know something... I don't know a lick of Spanish. I don't. And I'm not even going to lie and act like I do. I don't. But. I just like the way different music sounds. Even if I don't understand it. I like the way it sounds. I like watching the videos. I love the performances. And I'll be wondering what are the artists saying because I don't want to be listening to a song and later find out some shit I shouldn't be listening to. But I really was in the house listening to Spanish music. And I actually was enjoying it. I mean, like, I always like Spanish music since I don't care where I'm at. I could be in the poppy store and they playing music. I just like different music. I, I'm the type of person where I listen to different shit, but I'm the type of person where when it comes to me being a big music person, I like shock and dance too. I can have a good time. I could drop some pounds too. It don't matter what it is. It could be reggae, Spanish, uh, reggaeton, um, hell, rock music. Motown, j- jazz. And i always been a music person because all I did was sit at my great-grandparents' house and watch music videos and listen to music all day long if I wasn't reading books or outside playing or up the street at my uh, aunt house who lived up the street from my great-grandparents in the Southwest, Sheldrake Place. But, um, all I did was listen to music. Music was always around me. Everybody around me was always listening to music, and I would always sing along with the songs, dance along, ask questions about who the artist is, and my dad, he knew how much I love music. So he'd be asking me questions like who this artist and do I know any of these songs and if they did like a cover to an old song, do I know the song that's I mean do I know the original song and who the artist is and shit like that because I always was around music. And the crazy thing about it is when I was younger 
I figured since I love music so much, no woman, no woman that I felt like I was gonna be a teacher because I was so into black history. Yo, oh my god, it's fucking hot as shit. Why the fuck do I got a hoodie on? I, now I'm over here acting like I'm good. Fuck, I'm about to cross the street. Ain't nobody coming. I was fine there at first, but then after a while, I'm really getting high. And my ass don't care because I still put a hoodie on. When I was in high school, motherfuckers be like, you know it's hot. Can you take that hoodie off? I'm like, mind your fucking business. It ain't bothering you. I get on the school bus. The bus driver like, oh, can you take your hoodie off? You making me high. You got two fucking fans in front of you blowing on you. We send these hot ass leather fucking seats. You talk about some don't roll the fucking window down. We hot as shit. So yeah, I'm going to be smart and wear a fucking hoodie. So when the fuck I sit on this bus passed out. And you'll see. But she, I ain't like, I ain't really like that fucking bus driver. I'm happy that I'm not in high school no more. I had a few fucking bus drivers I ain't like. I mean, don't get me wrong. She had her cool moments where you could get on the bus and everything is fine. But most of the time, like, she, she type person where... Most days, if she on the bus by herself, or she got an aide that ain't really talking to, she cool. But she build friendships with people that work at the bus, the bus company, and they get sick and tired of the students on their bus, so they come on our bus. Or what they do is they lie to the bus company because they knew that the um, the camera on our bus ain't work. So they lie to the bus company and be like they got a family emergency or something like that. And then they meet they meet my bus driver at the school catching the bus or whatever meet her at the school or ask her to pick them up before she come pick us up from school and then we get on the bus you got the bus aide i mean no you got the bus driver the bus aide and about two or three other fucking people in the goddamn bus Ain't doing shit. Motherfuckers still on the bus. Arguing, throwing shit out the window, fighting, whatever happened, happened. And what the fuck are y'all on the bus for if y'all ain't doing shit? Y'all the bus aides for a reason. And then, you got students coming home crying, saying, oh, this happened on the bus, that happened on the bus. And most of the parents be like, now... When the fuck, uh, the bus dropped you off, I seen there was a lot of fucking people sitting in the front seats. All them motherfuckers on the bus and you tell me that you still was being picked on? That don't mean shit because the fucking bus aides be picking on these students the fuck too. That don't mean a motherfucking thing.
I'm trying to think because I got to go anywhere else. I'm fucking hot. It's hot shit. My black ass will be the one who got a goddamn hoodie on. But I was like, fuck it. Let me come outside for a couple minutes. Oh, shit. I don't know if I'm walking any farther. I really don't. Shit, I wish my, my our house was on this damn block. <laughs> Let me stop lying. I'm just saying that because I don't fly walking. <sighs> I don't know any of these motherfucking blocks up here. They ain't no telling what the fuck happened. This car, fuck. Look at this shit. Hold on. Y'all see that, right? And that car is fucked. And that's why I was right there and been there for the for a longest. I ain't walking any further. As soon as I get to this gas station, I'm crossing that street and taking my black ass back in the house by the fiend. And that's that. But anyway, yeah, that fucking bus driver, she was gonna my goddamn nurse. Her name was Tanya or something. And she just always had some slick shit to say. And when the fuck the other bus they that used to, that belonged on the other buses came on the bus, they'd be on there too. Then it's like, I'm like, she on there and work at the fucking school. But she act like she know when our gym days are. And the school was mostly boys. We ain't really had too many girls on the bus. If there was any girls on the bus, they'd be on there for like a short period of time. I mean, they started, I guess more girls started getting on the bus like when I was already leaving. But, um, shit, but like, it must have been y'all gym day. It's fucking hot as shit, and it smelled like unarmed. I'm like, bitch, if you smelt it, you fucking dealt it. I'm like, at the end of the motherfucking day, yeah, this is gonna smell like fucking underarms. You got a bus full of fucking boys, not too many girls on this fucking bus. You don't let us roll the windows down. You got two fucking fans blowing on you while we in these letter ass seats hot as shit. Then she want to be on the fucking bus complaining about it smelling like fucking underarm. I be like, well, if you feel that way, there's all these goddamn stores that you could have drove past. You got right Aid. Wawa, 7-Eleven, Dunkin' Donuts, and so many other goddamn stores that was near our school. If you felt that fucking way, you'd get some Lysol, some air freshener, some something. Or better yet, roll the fucking windows down. 
Because every single motherfucking day, with a bus full of fucking boys of all ages, that's pretty much what you're going to smell. Even if motherfuckers lotion their body down, put deodorant on, what the fuck, you expect us to bring deodorant to school? No matter what, you're going to be sweaty. So then, it could be days like where it's cold, raining and shit like that, and shit should still try to say slick shit about it, smell like sweat, or whatever the case may be. But then, on days where it's fucking cold, I'm trying to think, because she was, like, that, that, something was fucking wrong with her. She always had to complain about something. I ain't opened out one bag of chips to drink this fucking soda yet. But yeah, she always had to complain about something. So then on days where it's cold... It's certain students where she'd drop them off right in front of their house. And then it's students where she'd drop off at a corner or drop off a little far from the house. I'm trying to make sure these cars are coming. I was one of the students that... I was one of the students that she ain't always drop off in front of the house. She make it, as many buses would come down that block and pick other kids who lived on the block. They'd pick them up and drop them off. She make excuses like, oh, the bus too big. She gonna hit somebody car. She then drove down plenty of fucking blocks, hit people's cars, broke a few fucking windows. But then, she know that some of the students' parents ain't give a fuck what happened. They just want their kids to go to school. Other parents gave a fuck about their child and what's going on. So, if she knew some shit happened that she ain't want to deal with, she wouldn't drop you off in front of the house. She ain't give a fuck. She wouldn't even pick you up in front of the house. She ain't give a fuck if it was raining, snowing, ice outside and you was falling. She ain't getting out one and fuck. And then would sit right there and fucking laugh at you. I remember one time, it was, it was fucking... It was a whole bunch of fucking ice and snow outside. Cat still out there pissing all over the fucking snow. So ain't no telling that if I fell in some snow, that cat's shit and pissing. So, one time, I was told, I was told that the fucking, uh, they shoveled the snow up. But clearly, it started snowing again, so the steps got icy again. I'm coming outside like, damn, I don't feel like getting on this fucking bus. I know these fucking kids on the bus about to get the fuck on my nerves. I'm probably about to have one of the worst days in school. I don't fight going to school. I want to stay the fuck home. And while thinking all of this, I done bust my ass. This shit's beyond me.
I feel like stopping in the store. Should I go in the store? Hold on, I'm gonna have to talk to y'all later.